And in the nation's capital, the protesters marched from the popular Berger bus stop to the force headquarters in Erere Nevon. They insisted on staying put until the IGP addressed them. Our correspondent, Helena Samedi Akins, reports on this. Throughout this week, Nigerians have come out to demand the scrapping of the special anti-robbery squad after a video allegedly showing members of the squad involved in extrajudicial killing emerged on social media. These youth took their protest from the popular beggar bus stop in Abuja. Their numbers swayed as they made their way to the force headquarters in Area 11. Different descriptions on their placards drove home their demands. They expressed disappointment in the Nigerian police reluctance to address the excesses of SARS and urged government to scrap it. You're killing people, and we're talking to you people, and we're begging people, and you're giving us this. We'll be here this morning for heaven's sake. We'll be here, and we, we're going to be here till, till, what, till what time? And Nigeria's not going to be coming around. Are we, are we, not, are we relevant? Are we, are we not relevant? How would you feel if you, if you hear that your younger brother or younger sister or your son or your daughter have been for harassed yourself, for no reason? Just because he or she has a laptop, just because he or she has a phone, it doesn't make sense. The president needs to end SARS. We need it to be ended. Arise Christian is an architect. He is a victim of SARS brutality. He narrates how he was almost killed by men of the anti robbery squad for owing a laptop. This guy stopped me on my way with my laptop and asked me for my receipt. Like, who works with the, lap with the receipt of the laptop every time? I thought I've been with it for two years. And asked me for my receipt, like, I should be with it every, every day of my life. I thought I'd have the receipt. And then they slapped me and put me in the car. I said, okay, open the laptop and check for what you want. I'll open the laptop for you. Look at my software. I showed them my teacher software. You can see the software. Do you know what this do? What, what does this do? He said, I'll take it to the station. Take me to the station for what? I was there with them. I struggled with them. Luckily for me, someone who knew me stopped, stopped, stopped us along the way and, and, and bailed me. But while many call for the outright scrap of the anti-robbery squad, there are those who insist there is a service they provide for society. Their fear is a dismantling of the squad will create a gap in crime fighting that cannot be filled. This former commissioner of police is of the opinion that the squad should be reformed and not scrapped. Violent crime has been a threat to this internal security. And the SARS is a unit that was established by the police to, to address the issue of violent crime. Maybe some of them, some of the boys, officers in the, in the, in the, in the SARS unit, have become a bazillion. They are, they are going, they are working outside the lay down professional standard ethics. What they need is to be corrected. What they need, what is what SARS did not ban SARS, but to try to reform SARS. And the important thing to, to ensure that SARS are officers and men of the SARS unit are properly supervised and controlled. And why the conversation continues on what to do about SARS that will benefit the society, the group vowed to remain at the first headquarters until their demands are met. Helen Osameda Akins, TVC News, Abuja.